Okay, we're going to create a blog here. So once you get to edublogs.org, you're going to create a username and password. Maybe you have some other usernames and passwords for other sites. I'm assuming you do. You can use those if you want to. You can use something like your first initial and your last name and maybe the year that you were born. Uh, you can do your first name, your middle initial, and the year you were born or just maybe even your first name, your middle initial, and your last name. That's what I did when I created mine. Um, but whatever you want. I'm going to go with... Um, we're gonna have a first and last name here, just in case. And create a password. Simple as that. Now, oh yeah, there is one thing. Um, when you create a username, everything has to be lowercase. You can only use Look at this, it says, sorry that username already exists. But everything has to be lowercase. You can only have numbers and letters and no less than four characteristics. Characteristics, characters. Now, I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna click student. So my username is justincase84. We're gonna see if it works. We have the spinning wheel of death right here, as I call it. Then you come down here, you click an email, and this is optional, so you don't have to put your email down. But if you want to, I recommend using your school email. And then you gotta come up with a blog title and a blog URL. So your blog URL is going to be the direct link to your website. So www.justincase84.edublogs.org. So in this case, um, maybe I don't want the 84 on there. Maybe I want it to just be my first and last name, just in case. And then my blog title. So maybe I want to say just in case. You're curious. You agree to the terms. You say you're not a robot. And then this thing right here is bothering me. Uh, let's see if it'll let me create a blog. Probably not. Sorry, this site already exists. All right, so we'll say just in case 84. And there you go. You have created a blog, your username, your password and your blog URL. So it's not www. It's just justincase84.edublogs.org. Now, this is the most important step. Go to the dashboard. Uh-oh, that's interesting. All right, I guess I'm gonna sign in here. Doesn't usually log me out. Okay, so this is the dashboard. And so the first thing you want to do is join a class. So over here on the left, it says my class, click join a class. And then you want to search for a site. So you're going to type in my first, the, me, Mr. Potts, you're going to type in my first uh, name, middle initial, and last name. So Tim D. Potts. And you're going to click search. And that's going to bring you to Mr. Potts Thoughts. And you are going to click send a request to join. And then that's that. So now you can figure out how to set up your blog uh, once you've joined the class. Um, you might want to start over here where it says appearances. And I'll go ahead and tell you, um, you'll want to click an appearance that's mobile friendly. And then you can just start by going through all the different templates. 
and uh, pick your favorite one.